It is National Volunteer Appreciation Week, and a hospital on Long Island celebrated its longtime volunteers by dedicating a star to them. Some of the volunteers are future doctors, but not all of them. CBS 2's Steve Overmeyer spent the day with one of them who gets as much as he gives. I enjoy meeting people. I enjoy speaking to people about any, any topic. George Meyer is a volunteer at Glen Cove Hospital. He's 88 and has been volunteering here for years. Your purpose is here is to make that person feel, you know, that they're getting the best treatment, in the, you know, with the best professionals. He's making his return to work for the first time since COVID, but he hasn't missed a beat. And the big thing, of course, is to luck for safety purposes. Volunteers don't touch the patients, but they provide important services like transporting them to the therapy room. And that trip is when volunteers like George shine. Well, I think you have to have a feeling for people. You have to feel good about dealing with people and be happy about what you're doing. Research has found that volunteering leads to better health by reducing stress, lowering anxiety, and improving positive feelings by bringing what is good into focus. Oh, I get self-satisfaction out of it. I get enjoyment out of it. I get uh, a feeling of accomplishment for myself and purpose of why I'm here. And uh, frankly, you know, you get out of the house and you, you know, you do different things. So. It keeps your mind uh, active as well. George spent his career as a teacher, so it's in his nature to be helpful. What can you do? You can play golf, or you can read, or you can go swimming, or you can go to the movies, or you can go to a show in the city. My take for one, one day a week is coming here and uh, being a part of uh, a great group of people. In Glen Cove, Long Island, Steve Overmeyer, CBS 2 News. I think George has it right. Yes, thank you, sir. You bet.